Welcome to Tech Tips. Today we will discuss the Airbus 320 hydraulic system. The A320 has three hydraulic systems, green, blue, and yellow. Each system has its own reservoir. Each reservoir is of a different capacity. Normally, high pressure bleed air from engine 1 pressurizes all the reservoirs automatically. If the bleed pressure is too low, the system takes air from the cross bleed duct. Each system operates normally at 3000 psi pressure. A pump driven by engine 1 pressurizes the green system. The blue system is pressurized by an electric pump. A ram air turbine pressurizes the blue system in case of emergency. The yellow system is pressurized by a pump driven by engine 2. An electric pump can also pressurize this system. It is used on the ground when the engines are stopped. A hand pump can also pressurize this system to operate the cargo door on ground when no electrical power is available. A bidirectional power transfer unit enables the yellow system to pressurize the green system and vice versa, called the PTU. The PTU is switched when the following three conditions are met. PTU push button switch is on auto. Differential pressure between the green and yellow system is more than 500 psi. Thirdly, any one of the following conditions is satisfied. The nose landing gear shock absorbers are extended. Meaning that the aircraft is airborne. Both engine masters are on or both are off. And the parking brake in the nose wheel steering is not in the towing position. The PTU also runs in a self-test mode after the second engine is started. The blue system has a backup in the form of the ram air turbine, also known as the RAT. The RAT is coupled to a hydraulic pump and allows the blue system to function if electrical power in both engines is lost. That is both AC bus 1 and AC bus 2 are lost. Here, you can see the Airbus representation of the hydraulics system. You can see the three reservoirs. Green, blue, and yellow. The green system is pressurized by the engine 1 pump. The blue system by the electric pump and the rat. The yellow system by the engine 2 pump, the electric pump and the manual hand pump. The two engine pumps are preceded by engine fire shutoff valves. When the engine 1 or engine 2 fire shutoff handle is pushed, the valve closes the respective hydraulic line. Each hydraulic system also has its own accumulator. An accumulator provides constant pressure in the system by covering transient demands during normal operation. You can also see the PTU in this design architecture. In case of low pressure in any of the green or yellow systems, the PTU transfers power from one to another. It is important to note that no fluid transfers takes place, only the hydraulic pressure is transferred. Each accumulator supplies the pressurized hydraulic fluid to its users. You can see the complete list here in the system architecture. Some heavy users are supplied by a dedicated priority line. For the green system, the heavy users are the landing gear and slats and flaps. The blue system heavy users are the emergency generator and the slats. And the yellow system heavy user is the flaps. If the hydraulic pressure in any system gets low, the priority valve cuts of hydraulic power to the heavy users. So the light users can still use the available hydraulic pressure. An important design feature of the Airbus is that all flight control users are supplied by at least two hydraulic systems. This ensures that even in the case of the failure of one hydraulic system, the flight control user is still supplied with hydraulic power. For example, the rudder is supplied by all three hydraulic systems. Failure of any two systems will still allow the rudder to function. The stabilizer is supplied by the green and yellow systems. Failure of any of green or yellow system will still allow the stabilizer to function. Now, let us have a look at the eCam display of the hydraulic page. Before the engine starts, this is how the page looks like. You can clearly see the three different hydraulic lines. The arrow marking here represents the hydraulic level filled in each reservoir. Since the arrow is inside the green box, it shows that the hydraulic level is in normal range. Further up, the circle here shows the engine fire shutoff valve in the open position, allowing the system to function. The amber box shows the main pump. The green system is driven by the engine 1 pump. The color is amber because right now the engines are switched off so there is a low pressure. In the blue system, you can see the main electrical pump as well as the emergency rat. The rat position is disconnected as the white arrow is not connected to the line. The green system displays the main engine 2 pump and the electrical pump. The electrical pump is switched off, since the white arrow is disconnected from the line. The manual hand pump is not displayed on the e page. Moving up, 
you can see that hydraulic pressure in each line is 0 psi right now. You can also see the PTU. The green color represents that the PTU button is in auto position and available, however since the conditions for the PTU operation are not satisfied right now, the PTU is disconnected. Now let us have a look at the same page after the engines have started. You can see that the hydraulic system is working normally. And each system is running at 3000 psi pressure. The PTU position is still the same, auto and available. But disconnected since the operating conditions are not satisfied. Now we see how the page looks when the PTU is working. You can see that the green system has developed an overheat condition and the pump has been switched off. This has caused a low pressure on the pump. However now since the PTU conditions are satisfied, the PTU is operating and the yellow system is powering the green system as well at 3000 psi pressure. This brings us to the close of the hydraulic system. If you liked this video, do like and subscribe. It will motivate us to publish more such videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Safe skies.